Hi, this is a short intro on how I created I'm Benny the Beaver, a damn love story. First off, I did not actually record this. It was generated by AI after I trained the Descript model on my voice. But gosh, it sure sounds like me. The story itself was created by Notion AI. I kept giving it prompts and kept refining. My favorite line is about Bella. Bella was beautiful with soft brown fur and sparkling eyes that shone like diamonds. I even prompted it to tell a beaver joke told by a squirrel. It's actually a nice love story that should make you feel good. The images were created using Firefly and Adobe. This actually took a while to prompt it to do what I wanted. Then it was all put together using Descript. For the reading of the story, I chose one of the stock voices because it was more dynamic voice. No one wants to listen to their own voice, even if it is AI generated. Enjoy, I'm Benny the Beaver, a damn love story. Hello there, my name is Benny, and I am a hard-working beaver living by a beautiful mountain stream. I spend my days gathering wood and building dams to create a warm and cozy den for my family. Let me tell you, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing your hard work come to life. One day, while gathering wood, I met Bella, another passionate beaver who shared my love for building dams and creating a warm and cozy home. I couldn't help but be impressed by her hard work and dedication. Bella was beautiful, with soft brown fur and sparkling eyes that shone like diamonds. We started talking and realized we had a lot in common. We quickly fell in love and spent our days working together, building the strongest and most beautiful dams in the area. We built a cozy little den and started a family. Together we had three little beaver kits named Billy, Becky, and Bobby. The little beaver kits were always full of energy, and Bella and I loved watching them play and grow. One sunny day, Bella and I decided to take our little beaver family on a picnic. We packed a basket full of delicious twigs and branches and set off to our favorite spot by the river. It was a beautiful day, and we spent the day playing and eating. As we were walking back home, we encountered a group of friendly squirrels named Sam and Sally who were having a picnic of their own with their kids. The squirrels invited us to join them, and we happily accepted. We all sat down and started chatting, while the little beaver kids played with the squirrel kids. Suddenly, one of the squirrels started telling a joke. Why did the beaver cross the road? Bella and I looked at each other, puzzled. I don't know why. The squirrel replied, to get to the other damn side. Bella and I chuckled, and the other squirrels joined in. We spent the rest of the day telling jokes, eating nuts, and having a great time. As the sun began to set, it was time for us to head back to our den. We said goodbye to the squirrels and promised to visit them again soon. The squirrels waved goodbye, and we swam away, full of happiness and laughter. We knew that we had made new friends, and we couldn't wait to see them again. As the years went by, Bella and I's little beaver kits grew up and left to start their own families. Bella and I continued to work hard, building dams and gathering wood to keep our den warm and cozy. We loved each other more every day and often spent our evenings cuddled up together, watching the stars. We also cherished the memory of our picnic with the squirrels, and we often told jokes and laughed about our silly adventures. Bella's and my love for each other and our family led to the creation of beautiful dams and a cozy home. Our love and hard work brought us new friends and many happy memories. Even as our little ones grew up and left to start their own families, we are grateful for the life we have built together and look forward to many more years of love, hard work, and laughter. Thank you for reading my story. I hope it inspires you to appreciate the little moments in life and cherish the people you love.